a treaty with FDR, signed a, a treaty with them, uh, and he was going to he was going to blow the whole the lid right off the whole can, and uh, they didn't want that to happen, so they had him shot. Yeah, well, uh, well, Kennedy was uh, in in a number of things. Yeah. But the, the number of things that built up to the point where him and his brother decided that this this had to this had to come out. Everybody had to know about it now, and that's why they both got shot. But uh, since well, then, that, that and he, Kennedy issued you, Kennedy was the one president that was going to take it back from the secret cartel. Oh yeah, he, he was going to dismantle the NSA and the CIA. Both of those, both of those organizations are set up just to do the dirty work. You know, <laughs> they're not answerable to any of our our laws and regulations in this country, but they're operating right out of our backyard. So uh, that that was the reason. That was the reason for those two assassinations. But uh, since then, every single cotton picking president that's taken office. And, and knows a lot or a little about this, but he just doesn't, they don't care to say anything because that's, that's why they got elected, you know, so they wouldn't say anything. So, uh, but what, what amazes me, Clay, is that the fact that there has never been an independent candidate that's ever gotten into office. I can never. tell you why, David, because there was an independent candidate that wanted to close down the Federal Reserve, that wanted to pull all of our troops out of Iraq and any, uh, well, they weren't even in Iraq at the time, right. supposedly, but uh, uh, that was Charles Collins, and I went on the Republican convention. It is as organized as anything in Hollywood, and it's done in the same manner as Hollywood. And and they've got all of these independents. They the every time Charles got up to speak, the cameras were pointed at the ground. Right. And and Charles was portrayed as being uh, 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 he was listed in the in the Southern Poverty Laws false patriots brochure that went out to millions of people. So millions of people that never got to hear him speak, never got to look into his eyes, never got to, to even know that he was the first Republican candidate running. Nobody knew about him because right. the media controlled what they heard. And this is what's happening. This is what happened with Rick Sanchez. Well, you know that YouTube... And YouTube is going to change, is going to level the playing field for everybody. Because I think just about everybody that's got a, a home computer or a laptop can pull up the YouTube. Now you can even pull them up on those little uh, handheld cell phones even with the video screens on. So this next election, it's going to be different than it ever has been. Because we're not just going to rely on ABC, NBC, and CBS to cover the election. Everyone's going to be looking at the YouTube. And there's already candidates on there uh, talking their talking their talk and starting to walk their walk. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, David, they know this, and they have already made moves. You know, this is the importance about what I do, because I'm one of the few people out there that understand this. I've been following this for 30 years. Uh -huh. You know, I've been investigating this, and I've been an investigative reporter for that 30 years. I've written for every uh, for major magazines. You know, I've 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 helped start and close down businesses. You know, I ran Morris D's out of three cities here, and this is one of the reasons I was targeted very heavily. Well, this YouTube is going to make a big difference this next time because everybody's going to get it here. Lieberman, another Jewish center senator, already has a bill in to give Obama. Complete dictatorial control over the internet. Yeah, I read something a few months back where he wanted to shut it down for like four months. They're trying to. It's they're, they're, uh, he's just going to use the emergency powers in case that in case of another little incident like 9/11, right. or like an incident like an earthquake in 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 Haiti, or or as. Colonel John Brinkerhoff in my film True Face of FEMA, lecturing law enforcement, referred to the new Madrid fault line. If there's a big earthquake there, we'll need 400,000 well-armed, well-trained, organized, disciplined troops to control the American people, because some of them just won't follow orders. Well, there's more and more about following orders nowadays. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to say. 
because everybody's just get you know pissed off at the way it is. I mean, you know, if you can't even go out and work at a, at a at a job and bring home a paycheck to feed your wife and kids, and you can't even pay for your your apartment, let alone own a house or a car, you're going to get pretty damn bad. And if you're in a soup line for very long, you're going to be standing there just thinking about who it is in Washington that you really want to talk to. Or really it's all, to wait to. a minute, it's already happening that way. We've got, there's millions of old old folks like me uh, own, own food stamps, own uh, social security. Now, they're going to take the money away from us with this health bill. They're, going to, they're just going to deduct it right from your Social Security check because the Social Security check's coming from the same place. They're stealing your money, the federals and these, the income tax. And we've been talking to you about that for, for 20 years. And, oh, oh, you're a tax protester. Oh, you're a right-wing extremist. Oh, you're anti-government. Oh, you're one of those black helicopter people. Ha. Huh. Well... It's, it's, you know, when you start a soup, you got to start out with just water and the vegetables. But after a while, they start to cook down and they start to blend together and it starts to make, make into what you did intended when you started. And this soup is starting to, starting to form in this country. The people are starting to get angry and pissed off. And, I mean, religions and colors are not really making a difference so much anymore. When everybody's hungry, everybody's the same. Well, they're still, now, wait a minute. There's still the, the, the propaganda, the news media, again, is is aiming directly now. They're, they they brought this whole thing up about, oh, look, look, they blew up they blew up the, the World Trade Center. Now they want to do a, 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 a mosque over here uh, uh, on... on, on on holy right. ground, they want to. They do want to do a mosque on holy ground. Come on, this is <laughs> the, the, this mosque that they're building. This cultural center in a seedy neighborhood, and has nothing to do with that. And and the, no, I don't believe any Muslims had anything to do with 9/11. Of course not. Of course not. It was all set up by our own uh, military and, and those people, and it was made to look like it was, uh, you know, the Middle East that did it, Iraq, Iran, and, and that's why they gave them an excuse to bring our troops over there. But, you know, the thing about our troops is it's not to fight a war, Clay, it's to kill us off. It's to, it's to weaken our system, it's to take all of our, our uh, military... Uh, you mean, you there. mean you know, send, sending troops over to invade a country that hadn't done anything to us, like Vietnam? Getting right. fifty-eight thousand of my brothers uh, killed over there, right. uh, and and more than that have committed suicide since they came back. They were fighting exactly. an illegal war, and then to, uh, uh, on top of that, and they've done the same thing to my our brothers in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. They uh, oh. they sprayed us. They sprayed us with Agent Orange that poisoned the people there. And it poisoned the people's food. It and it's still killing our soldiers. Buffalo well, Rick's a friend of mine here. He's uh, he's involved in in trying to make people aware that people our, our our Vietnam veterans are still suffering from Agent Orange. And the reason they did that, they don't want well armed, well trained troops that are loyal to the Constitution coming back to this country to see what a mess. Because it's they're they're afraid of us. They're right. afraid we're going to we're going to do to them what we did to Pol Pot, what we did to uh, dictators around the world. Well, I've heard I've heard also that uh, the food they're feeding them over there it's all tainted with uh, uh, chemicals and whatnot too. They're feeding their own troops poisonous food. They're, give, they're making them take the H one N one flu shots, which are designed to knock your system down and eventually cause death. And, uh, David, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Let me. You you brought up a perfect thing. This is one of when I said it was. Uh, they're going after four classes of people now, not just three, four. That is what they're doing. They're telling the if the the nurses and the doctors, if they want to keep their jobs, they got to take this shot. Yep, yep. And they know that they're going to knock out the medical uh, professionals first. Everybody else is going to die off quick because uh, you know. That's what our intelligence factor is in our community, is our medicine and whatnot, or the people that have went to school and learned about it, but they're trying to knock that out, too. It's like, uh, it, you know, it's almost like a game 
and we don't we don't realize we're being played at the moment. Well, I realize.